ten fifty five. No, that's ten oh five. People say millennials can't read analog clocks. Apparently, I can't even read a digital clock. So, um, hmm. I don't know where I, what clock, kind of clock you. <laughs> Apparently, clocks are just useless to me. <clears throat> what is time even? <coughs> Cow return grass? Cow return grass. If you don't get that reference, um, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Let's say, say there was a certain captain who, um, didn't understand what that meant either. So, um, anyway. Okay, yeah. Second Kings chapter thirteen verses ten through twenty five. <coughs> I don't know what my dog do anyway. Joshua <coughs> King of Israel. <coughs> you know, I'm not talking about these things, how for you. They're going to be in the titles. In the third, no, in, yeah, in the 37th year of Joshua, King of Judah, Joshua, son of Jezariah, J E H A G. No, J E H O A H A Z. But of course, the because they're not domain now. <clears throat> Became of Israel and Samaria, and he reigned for sixteen years. Not that long. <coughs> he did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and did not turn away from any of the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat. N E B A T, which he had caused Israel to commit, he continued to, continued in them. And as for the other events of Joshua's reign, uh, jo of the reign of Joshua and all he did and his achievements, including his war against Azmaza, A M A Z I A H. King of Judah, there's an entire war and you're not including this? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that. Okay, that's it. I'm doing this bit. No, I'm t just kidding. Joshua rested with his ancestors and Jeroboam succeeded him on the throne when Joshua was buried in Samaria. No, Joshua was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason the end, the usual end of these king sections is at the beginning. So... He died and rested with his ancestors. Now we're actually going to tell you what he did. Okay. <coughs> Imagine someone starting your life story was literally your death. And then going, picking up at a random spot and going from there. Now Elijah. No, Elisha, no, Elisha, I'm getting them confused Anyway, had been suffering from the illness of which he died. Thanks for the Pacifics, author. Huh. Josiah, king of Israel, went down to see him and wept over him. 
My father, my father, he cried. The chariots and horsemen of Israel. What? Wait, Elijah had had been suffering. Oh wait, he died later. That that's weird. He's currently sick and he's throwing dies this, but the way it was worded confused me. Okay, never mind. Elijah said, Get a bow and some arrows and so he did. Hey, just because they might agree on some things doesn't mean they can't be friends, okay? Take the bow in your hands, he said to the king of Israel. When he had taken it, Elijah put his hand on the king's hands. His hands on the king's hands. Open the east window, so he he said. And he opened, the, opened it. <coughs> Shoot, Elijah said. And he shot. The Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Aram, A-R-A-M, Elijah declared, You will completely destroy the Amorite, Armenians, or Amorinians? I don't feel like pronouncing Armenian because I don't think they're actually the Armenians we know today. <laughs> anyway, at Afkok, A-P-H-E-K. Then he said, take the arrows, and the king took them. Elijah told him, strike the ground. He struck it three times and stopped. The man of God was angry with him and said, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you would have, been, then you would have defeated the Aram and completely destroyed it. But now you will defeat it only three times. Okay. Strike the ground. He does three for one reason. Apparently that it's wrong. Huh. To decide how many times he storm kicks these people's butt. Interesting. Elisha died and was buried. Now Moabites raiders enter used to enter the country every spring. Once while some Israelites were bearing a man, suddenly they saw a band of raiders. So they threw the man's body into Elijah's tomb, and when the body touched Elijah's bones, the man came to life and stood up on his feet. And this is another instance of resurrection, and it's only gets a sentence, not even its own verse, just a little sentence. <coughs> okay, Hazael, H A Z A E L, king of Aram, oppressed Israel throughout the reign of Jezreel. But the Lord was gracious to them and had compassion and showed concern for them because he, because of his covenant and because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To this day he has been unwilling to destroy them or bash them from or banish them from his presence. <coughs> hmm. Hezrael, king of Aram, died. And Ben Haddad, B E N H A D A D, his son, succeeded him as king. Then Joshua, the son of Jeroboam, recaptured from Ben Haddad, son of Hezreel, Hezreel, the talents he had taken in battle from his father Jeroboam. Three times Joshua defeated him, and so he recovered the Israelite towns. <coughs> oh, 
Look at this, Joe. Ten fifteen. 